So we just got word that Liquid Death is now valued at $700 million selling water in a literal can. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about these news. I think this is pretty wild. We actually recently reviewed Liquid Death on this channel. We broke down their entire brand, but it's just crazy to see them continuing to grow at this exponential pace. Keep in mind, this brand was only born like three years ago. And also keep in mind, this is literally water in a can. So it's not like they're selling gold over here, right? Now, obviously this isn't to throw shade at Liquid Death. In fact, I actually really love this brand. I think it's super cool and really smart i mean they capitalized off of the sparkling water trend they definitely saw what i'm seeing here which is that sparkling trend is continuing to rise in popularity and they created a brand that just stood out from all the competition and i think that's something that's applicable to any business really and even when it comes to like investing too right like doing things a little bit differently being slightly contrarian even though you can't really say you're contrarian if you're going with the trend but doing things slightly different than what everybody else is doing everybody on twitter is talking about this right now obviously there's a lot of people hating on it a lot of people don't understand how this brand could be valued so greatly especially considering it's just water in a can but i think this is really what you could call genius marketing so there's a saying out there that I really like, which is talent is being able to hit a target perfectly every time. Genius is being able to hit a target that nobody else can see. And I really think that Liquid Death has done exactly that because they put water in a can. It looks like a beer company, right? They added all this really great branding from beer brands. There's so many IPA beers that look very similar to this. And when I first saw Liquid Death, that's what I thought they were. I thought it was a really cool beer company or just like an energy drink. But little did you know, it's literally just water. So they're making drinking water more fun. That's another way to look at it. I think that's one of the reasons for their success is that it just makes drinking water a little more fun. And because they do it in a can, they're able to outprice the competitors. As you see here, Aquafina is two dollars and nine cents however liquid death is only a dollar and 89 cents so that's how you beat the competition you do something original really unique really fun and then you beat them on price too like how can they lose with that combination of things something interesting to keep in mind is that they are a shopify store however they mainly link people to their amazon store so that's another big trend that is important and worthwhile to keep in mind if you're building up your e-commerce business don't neglect amazon i don't think you should view it as a competition between Shopify and Amazon, even though it is, I think you should look at having both. There's no reason not to have both. If brands like Liquid Death can get valued at nearly a billion dollars in three years selling water in a can by not only having a Shopify store, but also an Amazon store, there's no reason that you shouldn't do the same. But yeah, pretty wild times. Just wanted to share these news with you. I thought it was pretty interesting. If you too have a business idea that you think has this much potential, make sure you check out the free Shopify link in the description. Shopify is the best place to build your business. And that's a great way to support the channel but that's it see you in the next video peace